Just having breakfast, aren't we, Anthony? Oh, God. What wild. <laughs> it's an absolutely beautiful day. Listen to the birds. Dex is chilling down there. Getting all our stuff ready for Crick. And we're off. Captain Fiona. Uh, well, Pilot Fiona, co-pilot Jude. Dexter's settled down there and we're really excited, aren't we? Yeah. It's, what day is it, Anthony? Thursday. <laughs> Told me it was Friday this morning. I know, because I've finished work. It's really confusing. Oh, I know. So, yeah, long weekend. Really excited. Can't wait to get to Greek. Saves us a pitch. We're hoping it's big enough for all of us. It's not a little pitch. It's not a little, is it? No. Where would we put the tent here then? Here's our friend's camper van. We've never seen it, have we? Till now, isn't it lovely? Yeah. Oh, very handy for the shower blocks and toilets. Yeah. I hope your family know you smoke. No. <laughs> <laughs> we made it! Yay! Yay. What a fab pitch! Mm. Isn't it? Dexter's excited to be camping, aren't you lad? Excited! Tent set up. Chairs are set up. Are you going to say about you? Come on, coffee. No. Oh, are we having a drink now then? No, I'm still having, having coffee. Nap, nap. <laughs> <laughs> We're all thinking of having a nap. We're exhausted. Why are we exhausted, Fiona Drove? How lucky are we? Not only the fantastic friends and fantastic dog sitters and yeah. fantastic crew. <laughs> They're making our dinner. Family of four. <laughs> Anthony's had a bit of an accident. Haven't you, Anthony? I have. What have you done? I've split sides on my leg. Only by talking to Fran and Rich. Yeah. You chucked a side roll down. I did, your, I will, yeah. All yeah. down your shorts, not down your leg. <laughs> oh. oh. Turn that off. I've just. <laughs> Get lost! Dog, get out of the way, I'm gonna fall! Oi. I shouldn't have ran up the hill before doing this piece to camera, but it's Friday morning, I'm here at Crick, behind me is the campsite. Our tent is just somewhere over that way. We had a lovely night last night, we walked over to the beer tent and we saw um, Wes 
and Amy, uh, Fran and Richie, uh, sorry Fran and Rich, <laughs> uh, and also Maxine and Steve and quite a few other vloggers and we met quite a lot of viewers which was really good and it was really nice chatting to people. Anyway, it's a cloudy day but it's still very warm, probably okay for Dexter as well actually. I'm looking forward to going into the show. The show opens at 10 and closes at 6. We've also booked to look around a couple of boats. Oh, never go for a run before doing a piece to camera. See you soon. So I'm walking along the campsite and who do I bump into but the lovely Wes and Amy from the Narrowboat Channel Boat Time. So can you tell us a bit about your channel? We are new boaters, we've been on the boat a year and we vlog pretty much everything to do with the live. So <laughs> when we go out, when we're vlogging, when we're cruising and yeah we're just rubbish at DIY and we eat lots of chips basically. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fabulous. Oh, and what's your dog's name Amy? I've just stood on him. This oh. is Rufus. Hi Rufus. Rufus say hello. Rufus. Oh he's not gonna. <laughs> Rufus. <what's... laughs> there he oh, is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely to meet you. Enjoy yeah, the show. To meet you. Bye. Right, you got the right side, man. Oh, I'll leave that in there. <laughs> right, you creased on. Yeah, that's it. You got it. Getting Jubilee ready. There's Dexter. <laughs> and this is our tent it's a blackout tent which is really good because it keeps it cool in the summer and dark early in the morning <laughs> Dexter's very excited about the show he's like a pup <laughs> Thank you. look who we bumped into <laughs> um, I really don't know. It's, um, yeah. We're going to have a look at the thingies. You know, they. Let me come in the middle there. Mind your back. Cheese! No, this is smudge everybody. How oh, cute. Um, but I can't have a place. And although it's not, and I've got to various places. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> So this is the first of the two wide beams I looked at from Collingwood and this is the one bedroom. <laughs> oh wow. Well this is the Collingwood boat, absolutely stunning. Lovely modern galley. Like a full size of it. <laughs> Enormous bathroom. Oh, I'd kill for a bathroom this big. <laughs> Large shower. Storage. Heated radiators. Walking closet. Oh, that's sweet. It's one of the things you miss on the bar, isn't it? Is the bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a bathroom that big. <laughs> and an enormous bedroom. Wow. So two accesses into the 
bathroom, which is good. And this is a two bedroom from Colleague World. I have to admit, I really preferred this one, even though the other one was stunning. <laughs> Enormous lounge, really nice. Totally different feel than the last boat. Very nice. Wow. Nice bedroom, wardrobe and drawers. Nice size bed. I'm guessing that's the water tank. Don't know. Nice radiators. Let's have a quick look in the bathroom. Frosted glass door, which I really like. And double sinks. So his and hers, or his and his, or his and hers. Fabulous. Love the floor. And lots and lots of storage for towels. And a double shower. Really nice. She just thought it was too narrow. Come on, an arrow. But this, you don't even feel like you're on a row. You might as well be in the front row. Yeah, it's yeah. in Liverpool. Yeah. 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 All right, thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, fridges, uh, fridges here. There were lots of boats to look at including new and used boats. It was good too that you didn't have to book in advance for a lot of the boats on show. What? A forest? It's a crab, isn't it? Yeah. Crab dog. <laughs> we couldn't wait to see the team at Oakham's after they made us feel so welcome last year. <laughs> no, so Liam is embarrassing us now by putting a red carpet out. <laughs> you alright? Alright, yeah. Yeah, all right. What about the two queens? Oakham's Narrow Boats won Best Boat in Show at last year's Crick, and the boat they had on display this year certainly had the wow factor. In fact, it won again, Best Boat in Show 2022. Wow, like that. that's actually that's really handy, isn't it? It's a 60 foot narrow boat with a reverse layout. This is the galley. Stunning, isn't it? Really nice gas hob. Units over the top, nice size oven, fridge freezer, lots of storage, and very light because it's got extra skylights. This one, really nice. I can't believe that they got this space here and it's built in little storage plugs and this little control panel, and yet the dinette. Just looks so nice. Lovely covers. Really love the wood. Nice double sized radiator on this wall. Really nice. And a 
just seems so much space. Yeah. Can I just sit here? Yeah, the sofa's not as deep. But it does make this room feel so much bigger. And actually, I could cope with that. It's better for your posture. Really nice skylight. <laughs> what were you saying, Anthony, about that? Oh, I thought you meant this. No, it's a full-size oven. Yeah. Yeah, the storage there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at the how lovely is this? It's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. And I've just said, Anthony, I know the sofa's not as deep, but just sit on that and feel it's better for your back and your posture, yeah. isn't it? But then you've got all that leg room. <laughs> nice radiators. Love the lights under the gunnels. Gorgeous shower. Those tiles, how gorgeous are those? We still follow the guys from last year. They're loving it. Yeah, they do. Lovely love sink, storage drawers. Is it a compost toilet? <laughs> and then into the bedroom. Some storage underneath. Really nice drawers. Is it double glazed? <laughs> oh, yeah. You just got my leg in the shot. <laughs> That's do you want all right. Me out? No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure everyone behaves so I can give you a good oh. boy sticker when you're oh. done. <laughs> Thank you. Lots of storage. Very sensible storage as well with lots of shelves. Which is really good. That's much better, isn't it? The bed does extend to a king bed. All right. Cool. Yeah, and, a, and the bed does extend to a king size bed. Love the drawers underneath. Just looks so nice, all these little touches like the open sign. And lots of light again. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. Um, nice to meet you as well. Oh, thank you. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. And have you seen all the solar? Two kilowatts of solar. <laughs> Love these skylights. Josh, let them all in now. What do you know? Yeah, just you were coming, to and then when you said you were going to do that, I thought, oh, I'd probably take it. Oh, I thought, oh, he's not going to be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, well, the lovely Nigel and Emma from Wigan, is that right? Oh, yeah. Way. Nice. Brilliant, my, my sort of part of the country, and oh, they've got this lovely toy for Dexter. How fab's that? Thanks, guys. It was absolutely packed in the beer tent with the entertainment that was on on the Friday evening, but it was nice to see that things felt like they were getting back to normal.
So it's our mission to stalk vloggers this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> We're following Steve and Maxine onto their boat. Isn't it lovely? More cake oh, arriving. More what a cake. fabulous crew that oh, you've got, so Maxine good. and Steve. Look at this. <laughs> Any problems with your engine? These are the guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not on this boat. There's no problems with the engine. <laughs> and Maxi down there. Good to see you. 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 Good to see LMBP. To be honest, LMBP. We've got to be excited. How excited are we to be going on a boat trip? Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Every one of us lives on a boat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's nice to see all the Jubilee decorations and bunting and how aptly named is this boat. It was actually quite nice to get off the showground and see the surrounding canals. We love dogs and it was so nice to see so many happy dogs at the event. <laughs> What's your dog's name? Um, we call him Baby. Oh, how cute! <laughs> Done. Thanks guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks you, mate. a lot. Yeah, lovely to meet Thank you. Anthony, Cheers, all the best. Catch up again soon, yeah? Take care. See you around. Bye. 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 All the way from Malta. All the way. Oh, just wow. Look great. <laughs> yes, and uh, while uh, we're at it and filming like this, I might as well give you a little gift from you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it edible? Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Drinkable. 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 Oh, Drinkable. oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're yeah, dealing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are dealers. Oh wow. Just bag it. Oh wow. I only have the last two left. So there was nothing oh, in this bag a minute ago. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. So Cheers for that. Thank you. All right. Okay. Oh, Paul, you've just got us this for Dexter. <laughs> right, we're over here at Pro Marine Finance, if you need finance for a boat. We've been stood in front of their stand for about an hour, we're on our way for lunch, and they've been very patient. <laughs> What are you drinking now? Well, we just found Warwickshire Gin Company. Oh, lovely. I'll give you little shots out. And what are you having? Orange? Lemon and citrus? Yeah, it's a citrus orange. Yeah, yeah. really nice. <laughs> what are you on, Mandel? Oh, me? Straight London Dry. I think it's called Lemington on Parade. Oh, nice. Is it nice? Have you tried it? I haven't got there yet. Hang on. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> 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 brilliant, brilliant. All right, thanks for talking to us. Enjoy the rest of the show and good luck with the board game. Bye.
a jolly in general. Oh, look yeah, at these three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, we're thank you very much. So this is a lovely Jill who's agreed to show us around her beautiful bread bar boat. And Jill, why did you choose a bread bar boat? And the Cedarata is my second braid bar boat. I had a braid bar boat in 1996, built by the original owners of the braid bar company, which has been going next year for 40 years. Um, I went along to see them because I had a really um, concise list of requirements. I wanted a 60 foot boat, I wanted a hybrid engine, and I wanted remote control. And as far as I was aware at that time, these were the only people who could provide that. She's got 720 watts of solar power, which certainly helps with putting the power back into the battery when I'm motoring along on the electric mm -hmm. motor, which I try to do as much as possible, particularly with diesel prices now the way they are. She has a Beta Marine 43 engine with an electric motor bolted on in front of it. Um, both of them provide propulsion. One is the, the diesel engine isn't a generator. So effectively, not that it would ever happen because it's a brave bar. If one engine broke down, you've always got a second. That was the reason I wanted a parallel hybrid rather okay. than a serial hybrid. I didn't want yeah. the engine as, as a generator only. <laughs> So two small steps down into the saloon. Is it hardwood floor as well? It's candine. Candine. Candine yeah. floor, and yeah. I chose that because it doesn't scratch with the dogs. Yeah. Um, it's much easier to keep clean. Yeah. I can just hoover it and then mop it, flash yeah. speed mop. Yeah. Cleans up the impossible. Fabulous. <laughs> Other speed mops are available. <laughs> storage in the steps, like most boats. Yeah. Loads of storage. Lots of nice big drinks cupboard. That's the most important thing. Anthony! Anthony said that's the most important thing, a big drinks cupboard. Jill's agree. Great minds. What made me go? For the diesel refits. Um, I have no gas on board, yep. so I don't have to lift gas bottles. And by the same token, I don't want to lift past because it's cold. Yeah. Don't want wood all over the roof. That's fed from the main diesel tank, and it's really, really efficient. I've only ever run it on sort of half power. It's costing about maybe ten pounds a week during the winter. But when that's on, I wouldn't run the central heating because it's oh, just okay. too much. Yeah. Mm. What about your hot water then? Hot water can come from the central heating, or from the engine, or from the immersion heating. Because I've got such a big battery bank, I can use an immersion, a normal domestic right. immersion heater. Because we can't run our immersion, can we? No. Not from your batteries. No. Oh, even though it's, it's quite, it was quite a big bank, we just had it. We've just gone to hybrid. Oh, okay. We've got a lithium and thingy button. Right, okay. Even though I think we struggle to run the immersion, just yeah. 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 not run the engine as well. Oh, and then it speeds up, yeah. It's beautiful. Uh, I love this. Yeah. Yeah. Double glazed 16 inch yeah. portholes. Yeah. Um, they don't have a thermal break, but I haven't had a problem with condensation at all. Um, maybe in the winter you might get a little bit around the frame, but I, I just pick a piece of microfiber cloth here when I put the blinds down at night and that just catches anything because I don't want the wood to get stained. I didn't want a dinette because I didn't need the extra space to convert into a bed. So my idea when I planned this with, with James, yeah, the exactly. boat yeah. builder, was that I wanted as much space here as possible in the saloon and the galley. Um, and a breakfast bar just fitted into that um, brief perfectly. These are lovely and comfortable. I've slept on this and it's brilliant. Where is this from? Sofa bed bar. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love yeah, the yeah, undergunnel lighting yeah. as well. Yeah, nice yeah. LED yeah. undergunnel. That's lovely at, at night. Yeah. It's the only lighting I use. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really yeah. Lovely. And I chose yeah. blinds yeah. as opposed yeah. to bunks yeah. because yeah. just think they take the bareness yeah. off the wall. If you imagine the wall without that on, it's a very long, very bare space, and also it's really good for absorbing. Sound, yeah. so it doesn't yeah. sound too echoey, yeah. um, and it saves you having to store loads and loads of bulbs.
So I, I went for the... So narrow budgets always talk about toilets, yeah. don't we? Went for a cassette toilet, yeah. purely because of liverboard. If the canal's frozen in the winter, I don't want to be worrying about, can I get across to get a pump out? Um, and I have a couple of spare cassettes. Yeah. Nice big shower. Very nice. Air in cupboard. Oh, wow. And I specced um, in here little fin rad, if you want to get in, a little fin rad um, so that when the central heating's on, it keeps the towels nice and warm too. Fabulous. Mm. Yeah. Things become, so, you know, they're in our house breakfast bar as like opposed that. to a diner, well, plenty of space it's, it's for me. Not a luxury. Um, yeah. Son and his partner came at Christmas yeah. and the and three of us had Christmas dinner yeah. around here. Yeah. I've got yeah. a fold-up yeah. breakfast bar yeah. stool. Um, so loads of space. I quite often sit and read up here. Yeah. And the dead corner in the, in the end there, yep. we have, I've got a nine kilo washing machine in there. So underneath here, we've got a domestic free freezer. Yeah. For drawer freezer. No, I really miss that. Which is fantastic. Yeah. I used to batch cook all the time and yeah. I really miss that. Yeah. Well i when I left Church Minshall I filled this up with with the sort of yeah. things I knew I'd need, bread and all that kind of stuff. And I've only shopped once. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all the doors and everything are solid oak. Everything's handmade. There's no um, boarding kitchen yeah. units. All the, the units inside, they're all constructed in house. Little bit of a luxury. Six place dishwasher. Which loads of people have said to me, what do you want the dishwasher for? But no, we're with you. We're with you. <laughs> it only uses seven litres of water. Yeah. And I put it on maybe twice a week, three times at the most. So if I washed all those dishes up, I'd be using yeah. way more. Yeah. We, we said the most we're washing up three times a day, yeah. and a dishwasher uses a lot less water, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Um, all soft, everything's soft clothes. Yeah. Drawers and everything are all made in house. Yeah. So everything in the galley yeah. runs from two thirty volts. Yeah. And then induction, an induction, induction hub. As well. hub. Yeah. Yeah. Which is yeah. oops, I've just switched it off. <laughs> Which is brilliant. Yeah. Two two burners, but you can merge them and it's so it's one big hot plate yeah. and you can graduate the, the zones on it, different temperatures. I've not worked how to do that yet. <laughs> <laughs> because it's all two thirty you can use domestic appliances. So I've usually got a toaster here. Um nice space saving ideas. Yeah. Again all made in house. Pull outs. Nice spice pull out. Plenty of room for your wine, it's two bottles deep. Nice big <laughs> domestic size fridge. Yeah. 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 Um, What's the trap door? Oh. <laughs> well, sometimes you need somewhere to put your vegetables or your fruit, don't you? It's a long boat. So, I store my fruit in here. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> I knew you'd be jealous of that. I, am pretty, I, I had a feeling like that. I'm very jealous. I've got to put another bottle in there because that had a yeah. today. Um, yeah, and despite the fact that it's carpeted, it really does chill down there. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's, it's on the, uh, the base plate. Yeah. And um, all domestic appliances. So I've got a nice hide and slide Jeez, oven. That's nice. Yeah. Is that electric as well? All electric. Yeah. Everything's and electric. And no gas at all, you said? No gas, don't have any gas. Well, I'm telling a lie, I do have a gas bottle, but it's empty yeah. and it's for my barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, oh, I can't see it. Uh, microwave. Oh, really nice, yeah. Small double, but it does have the ability to extend and you get an infill mattress yeah. 
which you would put in that side, pull the mattress across, and yeah. then you've got a five foot bed. Right. Um, I obviously don't need that. And gas struts, so you can access mm -hmm. the storage underneath. Yeah, excellent. The normal steps would have just been straight yeah, down, yeah, but yeah. my little dogs would have stood up there and been terrified at the drop. Yeah. So the um, carpenter designed two standard steps and then the curved steps, so they, they can go on to each step. Yeah. Um, nice and safely. Storage, storage and storage. And then the batteries are all underneath here. Wardrobe, storage, hanging storage, folding storage, and then the usuals in there. You yeah. don't want to see that, do you? <laughs> <laughs> and storage over the bed as well, yeah? yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, lots of yeah. nice storage over yeah. the bed. So you've got all your controls here for the, to tell me where the, the bat, what the battery state is, how much solar I'm getting, mm -hmm. What I'm using on the boat, fuel gate, fuel gauges, and um, this is all accessible back via an app on my yeah. phone. Yeah. The uh, inverter is a five kVA inverter, and then all the usual fuses, etc., for the twelve and twenty-four, sorry, two forty volt system. And did you tell us about the solar panels, Jill? I can't remember. Yeah, we've got 720 watts of solar power, yeah. um, which will help to replenish the batteries, um, either if you're using the, the motor or just using the power generally for cooking, etc. And on this side, we have the charger for the um, battery charger mm -hmm. for the bow thruster and the the black box at the bottom there is the um, control box for the hybrid engine and this little darling is my best friend this is ronnie uh, ronnie's the remote who helps me to go through locks so this is the control panel for the electric motor um, it tells me exactly how much power i'm using if i that's in drive now yeah. it's driving <laughs> so if I'm going into a lock and I want to use the remote control I will set the boat into the mouth of the lock so the bows in the mouth of the lock and then I will very quickly before the boat's gone fully into the lock change the remote Set it to remote down here, and you can see that the display's changed, and then everything is controllable from this. So, reverse. I will use bow, could use bow thruster as well on that. So I usually bungee cord the tiller so that it's straight, and I can move it forward, backwards, side to side. It's an absolute. Well, it's a game changer for me. Well, thanks for showing us around your lovely boat, You're Jill, and for all the, um, to have you. the information. That's fabulous, thank you. You're welcome. So this is a swan boat. It's a really nice boat. A swan. <laughs> nice galley. <laughs> Real nice. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Sounds more like a drain yeah. going. Okay. Yeah. Nice hob. That is yeah. for the alarm. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And I like the white bolts to land. Steps are really wide, aren't they? Yeah, they'd be fine. For storage as well. That's a kind of system, but you're heating the door on the phone. So obviously you can see you know, from wherever you are in the rails if you want to, you know. But even see all your, your lights and everything in the ceiling, they're all sorts, you can change them. And, uh, <laughs> It's called Locks One by the only builders in the UK for me that do this. Yeah. yeah. You can run your heat and your audio, everything from all touch. If you've got a smell of dishwasher, you'll test the top lights, the switch, and the dishwasher. Turn your dishwasher on from. If it was this washer, I'd put a better breath on. Yeah, yeah. You can use all your tools. Full size of it, I believe, is that. And that's the wine cooler as well. Sunny day, we're doing the solars. For the yeah. we've never, look, when it was like this, it was and the units, that's deep, that's a floor, that's a space, so it's great. 
when you give him said yeah and he'll go all right then you can't get this out if you don't vote though yeah yeah look at all that room though in the saloon it's fab isn't it with the radiators Who's the store for that? Reflex. Is it yeah, reflex? Yeah, it's a reflex, that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Computer toilet. Yeah. Is it run by the same... Look these doors. This is because it's an enclosed bout, right? So, obviously, it's run from the back on this one. Yeah. If you had a normal front Nice deep storage. Can put a second tank in the back. Love this thing. The only thing then, yeah. If, uh, Thermal break, double glazed windows. <sighs> I don't know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> He's available for sweeping your chimney. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, it's curry night at the campers' campsite. Is that enough for now? Thanks to Penny. Perfect, thank you. There is another. And Andrew. Cauldron. Okay, who's next? This naan next bread, delicious chicken curry. You haven't She's tasted it. She haven't tasted it yet. Yeah, <laughs> this one, I got it. Well, the curry was a success. Everybody's full. Nobody wants Millennium cake. Frisco. Jubilee. Jubilee, Jubilee cake. cake. It's not the Millennium Paul. <laughs> Jubilee cake. <laughs> When's the millennium? Yeah. <laughs> has, it, has it gone past the year 2000? I think so. We're not sure. Oh, the vodka. What is it? That's why. It's a toffee vodka that's got to me. That's going down very well, isn't it, Fiona? It is. Andrew's on his seventh glass. <laughs> and he's on wine. It comes trouble. Morning. What do you mean, trouble? Yeah. All right. Did you sleep all right in your nice hotel, you two? Oh, it was oh, yes. lovely. It was wonderful. Really quiet. No right. rain on no the roof. No rain on canvas. <laughs> no, they used to be friends. Not anymore. Yeah, yeah thanks for the shoes. Yeah. Yeah, really, really. Where are you? Where are you? Into web. Penny, did you sleep well in your nice camper van? Oh, yes, I did. Thank you. Oh. Well, we said we'd pop in and say hello to the canal and with the trust team. <laughs> Are you alright? Absolutely stunning. <laughs> Compost toilets that we know and really lovely people we chatted to them last night but yeah love the rspb <laughs> and i remember also i'm sure my age you're doing the official the very first bird count garden bird count oh, right, did yeah. you? Yes. 1977 was it yes i think it was, it was. yeah yeah, yes. well, I'm also yeah. A member of the RSPB. cheers yeah so um this is the sort of gold standard we want don't just like shove houses in with endless fencing do it right with fruit and nut trees nectar for rich flowers and um you know uh ponds there's a thing yeah. Lots of people don't have ponds. Yeah. Um, and then, um, yeah, and little holes in fences. If you've got fences, put holes in them. Let nature through. Um, yeah, yeah. We did all this when we had a house. So we had a hedgehog and we cut holes in the bottom of the fence, didn't we? We had a hedgehog yeah. house. Yeah. We had a bat box. We had nest boxes. We That's built because a pond. you were a young ornithologist and yeah, you had probably. it in your mind. Yeah. But, uh, you know, having all that nature in your garden, I think a lot of us found in lockdown, it was just life-saving really, you know, wasn't it? The difference, the amount of people that have come to reserves, have called us up. I know a lot of charities had a really hard time yeah. because if you can't go and visit somewhere, it's quite difficult. But people did take to nature and you start, it brings you back to centre and you start mm. realising what is really important in life. Mm. Mm. People heard birdsong for the first time, there was no traffic. Mm. It was just incredible. Yeah. Kids, parents spent time with kids and they normally yeah. at work. Yeah. They're very, very powerful and it's all yeah. come at the right time. So yeah. if anything good's come out of Covid, that's, that's one yeah. thing. I mean, for us personally, cruising, there's no better time. I think some of our best experiences are cruising early evening and listening to the bird song. It's yes. just magical. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, Karen, thanks for your time. You're very welcome. Thank you. Hopefully see you again. Yeah. Oh, Enjoy yeah, the rest sure. of the show. I'll say hi on your vlog. Good. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Anthony, have you seen the kettle? What? We need to get that kettle. Seen it? Yeah. Yeah.
Love the camper van, but we love this kettle. Yeah. <laughs> really nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. Oh, we all know Louise and Dave. <laughs> Please su subscribe to the channel. Oh, Chili Jam Jeff. Did nice you go to, to school with somebody called Dale? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's retired, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's seen you and all, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you. Man. Oh, wow. Thank you Brilliant. Very much. <laughs> That's the highlight of this boat show, I'll tell you. Did you get yeah, some, Louise? Yeah. Yeah, oh, mine was oh, yeah. a much yeah. bigger yeah. jar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us about your channel, please, Louise? Uh, our channel is called Now About Changing Pace. Yep. Uh, we're not doing that much on YouTube, but we are quite active on TikTok, Instagram, and occasionally Facebook. I've seen your TikTok videos, and they're great. Thank you. And, yeah, you're very prolific on TikTok, aren't you? That's, that's a big word. Yes. <laughs> you want to bring that down to layman's yeah. please? <laughs> You produce a lot on TikTok. Yes, is it yes. like daily or? No, it's when we cruise. Yeah, right, excellent. Yeah, brilliant. And Dave told us, I can't believe this, you did the whole, the, the Leeds and Liverpool Canal on yeah, your own? Yeah, I did it on my own with three dogs. It was interesting. Oh, blimey. I would rather do five locks than one swing bridge on my own. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're not fun, are they? They're not fun. Are That's you? Sometimes, the, because they put the lock landing for a swing bridge on the right side but the mechanisms are on the wrong side yeah, this makes yeah. it super difficult yeah it'd be handy to have a remote control boat wouldn't it, it would. yeah i saw <laughs> that on your rocks. vlog sir yeah. oh, i saw yeah. that on your vlog yeah we, we weren't testing you to see if you'd watch them <laughs> we did and we saw it on your tiktok and i did think they don't make that boat they've made our boat yeah so and yeah. they don't do electrics no i don't no i'm i'm very mechanical minded i can follow the wiring diagram but i need that that wiring diagram yeah. I'm, I'm not electrical minded yeah. but yeah I, i'll have a go at anything but I'm, give us a number of that guy he did he fit it himself i know he um he gave all the spec to the builder and got the builder to do it from his specifications right, okay. yeah yeah that's a big word for me as well and we can also you, see you on the engine room chat, can't we, yes, Dave? Yes, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night yeah, live with Chili Jam Jeff. Is it every Blank. month, the engine room Every chat? month, first Monday of every month. Yeah. Uh, technical uh, problems <laughs> <laughs> allowing. We, uh, we couldn't get on. You are a master of everything. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah. But it, we've, joined, we've joined in with the conversation yes. and it's a very friendly room, isn't it? Yeah, anybody yeah. that's got any questions or oh, oh, do you want to ask us, feel free to bob on there and or offer solutions yeah, yeah. If, we, if we're talking out of his behinds then please tell us excellent uh, thanks a lot you two no problem thank you enjoy the rest of the show yeah you too bye bye, bye. 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 take care okay i'll see you again yeah. it's so nice to see nick and vicky and we've been looking out for them all weekend and we're, yeah so lovely to see you both again have you enjoyed the show so far oh, fantastic yeah really brilliant Great. yeah thank yeah. you <laughs> yeah and i said if we get the moderator maybe get we're trying to persuade Anthony to do a live chat. <laughs> we're off back home. We're all very tired, but we've all had a very nice time. Have we all enjoyed Crick? <laughs> oh well, we're back from Crick, aren't we? Yeah. It was <laughs> we've had the most amazing time, haven't we? And we've met some absolutely lovely people, so viewers and other vloggers to be honest. We're still buzzing, aren't we? It was, I mean, it took us a few hours to get home and a big thanks to Fiona and Jean yeah. for driving us down there. And, and Penny and Andrew for cooking as well. Yeah. And Martin Mandela and uh, Mark and Mark Zach, Zach came to for see us. making the time to come and uh, join us as well for a meal and yeah. so a there was, chat. Yeah, there, was a, there were a few of us on the campsite and it was nice to see some friends of ours on the campsite, including Louise and Dave and Dave and Hayley. And although we didn't get to see Hayley, so apologies to Hayley. Yeah, well, they did say they were going to be in the beer tent yeah. and we didn't see them that evening, yeah. did we? we got there um, quite late. Yeah. 
but it was, it was rammed in the beer tents. It was so much busier than last year and it was a longer weekend for us. But yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic to meet so many people and we've probably said this before, but it took us about an hour and a half to move about 80 yards <laughs> down one aisle to get some food and yeah. our friends were sat waiting and they'd had the drinks and they'd had the food and we got there and our coffee was gone. But we wouldn't change it at all, would we? Because no. it, was, it was just lovely to meet like um, viewers and we met um, a couple of the patrons of the channel as well. Yeah. Um, which is really nice. Yeah, nice seeing some of the boats and chatting to some of the boat builders. We got to see a lot more than we did last year, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Congratulations as well to Orkins, who won Boating Show again this year. Yeah, second um, year on the road. Well deserved. They're a real nice team. Yeah. Um, and we really loved the boat, didn't we? We loved it last year and we, we loved it this year as yeah. well. And I mean, all the boat builders worked really hard, didn't they, to get the boats they ready do. for Crick? They um, do. And they were, they were stunning and they were all really welcoming, weren't they, as yeah. well? Yeah, um, they were. So, you know, there are other boat builders out there that we... Really enjoyed looking round. Yeah. Um, Jill on um, Bray Bar, they, mm. she was just really nice. Yeah, and Donna um, and the whole team at Bray Bar yeah, were lovely, yeah, weren't yeah. they? And they're studying boats, and yeah. yeah. Oh, I've just turned the TV on. Oh. <laughs> With my foot. With your ass? No. I'll say that. I just did. <laughs> um, but I have to say, because um, we're camping, and then it rained last night, didn't it? Yeah. And, a bit worse for wear on Saturday after a few drinks on Friday. Oh, you were, yeah. yeah. So you only had to half a pint last night, can't I did, believe it. Yeah. I've Which never done anything. I've never done anything like it. No. But um, we're absolutely <laughs> exhausted, yeah. and we didn't even drive home, so I can't imagine how Fiona and Jude are feeling. And yeah. Jude has to go to work tonight as well. Yeah. And there are probably too many people to mention the names, but people that we hadn't met before, Fran and Rich, and they invited us onto their Yeah, boat thanks for the th thanks for coffee. coffee, biscuits and fudge. Yeah, that made our week, yeah. didn't it, that they asked us to do that. And, uh, you know, Tony and Jan and Wes and Amy, who we hadn't met before, yeah. young couple, really lovely. They yeah. do a lot on TikTok. Debbie and Saul, they were yeah. going to come and have a look at the battery set-up, actually. They were quite yeah, interested yeah. in that. And, of course, it? Gary and Nikki and the kids, and it was yeah. so nice to meet them. And, and all the team from Four Go Narrowboat, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was lovely. It was so nice. Yeah. It was like one big happy family and you know, what's on board. We just we could just go on and on yeah. and we don't want to miss anybody <laughs> out. <laughs> so yeah, we don't want to mention well, names. Nick. Yeah. And I got on Maxine and um, Steve. Steve, yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks Maxine yeah. and Steve for inviting us onto your boat for a coffee yeah. for coffee. And, and now cake. I've got because yeah. um they make put comments on and I like comments on their posts and stuff. But obviously, never met them in person. Such nice people. Yeah, there's just so many. There names. Is. So if we missed anyone, I would really apologise. Saul and Debbie, and you know, just everybody that we met. Yeah. And Lisa and Glenn, obviously, yeah. we were really looking forward to seeing yeah. them at Crick. Uh, yeah, and we just wish we could have chatted longer to people, but it was just impossible, really. It was, over it was the crazy, wasn't it? Yeah. Even like that, like we had a longer weekend. We just, and I know we've missed a few people. Um, what was really strange is. Um, Andy and Eric, because yeah. um, we know Andy's mum. We've known her for a long time. Yeah, but we? from our old next door neighbour, then and we've, we've yeah, been around to the house at the meal. Andy. Never met Andy. <laughs> and then he's really got into Narrowboat and his partner yeah. Eric. And um, they're looking at doing that in a few years, yeah, aren't so they? So they bought a telepin, no boat, yeah. but a telepin. <laughs> um, but yeah, we enjoyed meeting them as well. Yeah, so it was fantastic. We hope you've enjoyed watching the vlog. We really enjoyed Crick. It was just the highlight of yeah. the year so far. And we can't wait to go back yeah. next year. And a big thank you to everybody that organised the show and all the staff on the campsite and all the staff on the car park. <coughs> yeah, Just, they really worked hard, didn't yeah. they? And, and um, they made really... an enjoyable show. The, yeah. the, the facilities were absolutely immaculate um, yeah. and it must have took a lot of effort. And effort they really and made work. us welcome they as did. well, didn't they? So friendly. Um, thanks to all everybody who did come up and say hi. Yeah. Um, sorry if we didn't get to chat to people. Yeah, or you, know, you missed us, yeah. or we missed you. We yeah. would have liked to have stayed longer on Sunday, but we had to get back because the girls had work commitments. Yeah. Um, and we know some people said like they've missed us. We missed Boat and David as well, yeah. who we've been dying to see. Cause yeah, yeah. It makes comments on a lot of our yeah. posts and stuff. So yeah. we really apologise if you didn't get to see us and we didn't get to see you. Um, but thanks so much for those who've made an effort to come and say hello to yeah. us. And thanks for all the comments on last week's vlog. And also, we're still going through them actually, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help our channel. It, does. it really does make us feel much better. And uh, Dexter is lay behind us. He's, oh, he's absolutely exhausted. shattered. He did really well, though, didn't he? Do you know what? We're so glad we took him. We're, you know, we were really um, anxious about taking him because he's getting older and he gets tired. But he was running into the showground like a pup. Yeah. Whether he could tell we were excited, I don't know. Or he was just yeah. excited to meet everyone. And like people brought gifts for Dexter and treats for oh, Dexter. Oh yeah, thank you so much for that as well. So amazing. somebody brought him a toy, somebody brought him a, a 
bag of treats, mm. um, a neckerchief. Mm. So we were just overwhelmed. Yeah. So yeah, it was very humbling. Yeah, so a big, big shout out to everyone that came to say hello. And if we didn't meet you, maybe come to Crick next year and we can meet you there. Yeah, we may and be taking our boat next year. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, we may be taking a boat. But uh, yeah. yeah, watch this space. Yeah. So thanks again for watching the vlog and have a fantastic week. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.